welcome to Koi Chronicles and in this chronicle I've been monitoring the fish since the start of the month it's April the 20th 2020 and it's the ghost koi down there I've been watching him since the 7th of this month on the IP camera a couple of weeks ago we had the water really warmed up and this fish got really active and started to splash about and cause havoc so we've got the footage on the IP camera to show you that now I've got a ghost koi in the pond there's not much to look at but it's always causing havoc always splashing around granted this is earlier on this month I've been monitoring him over the last couple of weeks the water and the weather has got a lot better so things are starting to you know warm up fish are starting to get active but this one is always jumping I remember scraping him last year never felt nothing on him always just come to the conclusion that it's just a happy active fish but it's a little bit too frantic for me I wish he would just you know a little bit quieter a little bit calmer but if you watch the footage now coming around the back, it does a flick, it does another flick, it does another flick. So automatically you just think, well, I'll scrape the fish, I'll see, I'll try and pinpoint, you know, what's the matter with him. So a few days on now on the 11th, which is a couple of days after the, the water got really warm. We had a real busy day on the 11th, splashing and causing man. Quite handy having this camera above the pond so if I ever hear a splash, you know, I'm straight on it into the footage, pulling it off. So I've got it documented basically. So we're on to the 12th now, really, on this one. Still splashing about. So it was decision time to get him out today. Today's the 20th of the 4th, so this footage was was being monitored or the fish was just being monitored but he's the only one that's just jumping out causing mayhem causing me a concern so I just decided to get him out get him under the microscope and take a look As you can see from that footage, the ghost koi is really active, really splashing about, really crashing around. So we're going to be getting out and doing a scrape on him. Just to show you this contraption that I brought as well online, I'll link it below. It's basically a holder for your mobile phone. You can cleverly mount your phone onto it, fits any standard microscope you can get your camera's lens to line up and look directly down the microscope's lens so hopefully moving forwards the footage I can get some decent footage of the microscope I'll put you some footage in at the end of that as I did that and I'll show you so I've got everything ready I've got all my gear out I'm going to show you some footage now of me netting the fish it took me five attempts uh, didn't film this but I caught it on the IP camera again above the pond so I'll show you that now so as everybody knows nice slow approaching with the net lo and behold this lively one skips it. Again, nice and slow, coming in for the approach. The net's not even anywhere near him. Should be in the Olympics this fish. So at 
this point I'm thinking, mm, shall I, you know, I kind of ease off now, especially with that near miss. Obviously, the inevitable happens. He slings himself straight over the side. Luckily, he's okay. Quickly went round to pick him up. Whatever species he is, we have a successful net in this time. And normally, when I scrape my fish, I leave him in the net. Or, you know, I'll possibly probably him up, but I find it easy just to slip the net in between the gap, between the top of the bat and the gutter in. I can just save the go around. easily this is took what I've taken and finally get my screen. Got him in the end, fifth attempt for the first scrape for the year. I don't really want to be uh, having another nightmare like that. But he's alright, he's just got a sore head. He's in there somewhere sulking. So it's a good idea to have a camera above your pond just in case any mishaps like that happen or you hear a splash in so you can monitor which fish it was and the behaviour of it. Thanks for watching everybody. If you've liked the video, please like it. I'll leave the footage of the slide at the very end with the contraption that I've just brought and I'll link that below. Take care, stay safe and bye for now.